today we're still working on the playhouse and uh, we're talking about how to use a Swanson square to get us a 22 and a half degree uh, line here along this 2 by 6 so we can use it for one of the rafters and uh, with the playhouse we're not necessarily tied to the plans as much as we would be with the house or something more important so using that situation we want to maximize the use of our wood so we've got 2 by 6 by 8 and sometimes the plans may call for you know nine inch overhang wherever it might be and in this case we just want to use the maximum we can to get close to that so we'll probably get close to seven eight inches but part of doing that will be maximizing this so how we're going to do that is we'll measure the full length of this two by six by eight and in this case the two by six by eight is about eight eight feet a quarter inch so we're going to mark in the middle of this basically four feet and an eighth of an inch. So that's right about here. Okay, eighth of an inch for a mark. So with that mark, go ahead and take our speed square here. We'll draw a line down the middle there. And then we need to identify the middle of the board. So the way that we'll do that is, we know it's five and a half inches, but it always helps to double check. Sure enough, still five and a half inches. So half of that is two and a half. Plus, uh, plus a quarter, so two and three quarters. We'll mark that, hopefully you can see that, but this is uh, the middle point there. If you hope, yeah, you can see that. Okay, so that's the middle point there. So once we have that, the next thing we'll do is we're gonna basically draw our 22 degree line. That will be our rafter cut as it meets the top of the, uh, of the uh, kind of the ridge board. We're going to make that uh, cut kind of cut through like this. So the way that we'll do that is we'll take this speed square here. And uh, you'll notice this is kind of pivot, a pivot spot here on this particular uh, corner of the 90 degree point of this speed square. So we'll take it here, we'll pull this line here. Sorry, take it here. And then we're basically going to move this till we have match here on number 22 degrees. Let me bring it a little closer and let's see. So I'll bring it a little closer here. So you can see we've got basically this uh, edge here against the edge of our board. It says pivot. Let's so re-pivot it. And we can pivot this angle here however we need to to get our angles. So this is actually a quick cheat right here at 22 and a half degrees. You can see the degrees lining up here as well. So we're going to run this at about 22 and a half degrees right about there and notice this will be flush this part here is flush with the board and that gives us a 22 degree line now we need to push this back until we run straight through the middle of this so that way we cut this thing to the middle and it becomes our ridge cut for both boards at the same time that's kind of the goal here is to maximize the wood reduce the waste and uh, do one cut so and now that I've got that marked at uh, 22 and a half degrees, see that comes through here. Move it back down just a touch there, 22 and a half degrees is what I want. I'll push this back here like that, let's right on the money, and then we'll just draw our line there. And then we'll make our cut. So that line will be uh, this direction, and this direction will be the same length, so we can use both of those for our uh, rafters on this playhouse. All right, so we made all of our top or plumb cuts for these rafters. And you can see I didn't have to make but one cut per board. And they're even here, this is pretty straight. I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah. And then on this side too, pretty straight. Pretty happy about that. So just by measuring down the middle, taking half of that and then running that 22 degree line along the middle of that center dot, we're able to uh, yeah. reduce our number of cuts. Anyway, there it is. Thanks for watching.